Hey, what's going on? Matthew Taming here with another Joomla video demo and review. Today, we're going to take a look at creating a website like Dropbox. This is where people can be able to create an account. They can share files. They can store files. They can collaborate and they can be able to get a lot of stuff done. So if you've always wanted to build your own Dropbox type, I have the perfect tool that is going to help you do that uh, with Joomla. So this is called Drop Files. Now it is a file manager. It helps you to, uh, you can download files. It has so many features that we're gonna take a look at it. So once we do that, then we're going to do a demo so that you can see how it looks and how things function. And one of the reasons why I love this is that it has a, a very clean interface, very clean, easy to use, easy to understand once you get the basics of it. So there are four themes included and the four themes are just four different ways that your site can look. So what that means is that you can present this information on the front end, what people are going to see uh, in different ways. And that's good because sometimes one interface may attract an audience while another may not attract the audience. And pretty much in a nutshell, it just makes your site look cool. You know, to break everything down makes it look cool. And you can design a theme that fits your specific needs. It gives you the ability to be able to customize it. You know, that's one of the things that I love about it is that you can apply different color pickers to different types of files. And this really helps too, because when you have people that are downloading stuff in your site, you can be able to, you know, design it and make things easy for them. And it's a very easy file manager. And when you go on the back end, you're able to drag and drop things throughout the entire, you know, back end. Uh, and drag and drop feature is something that's very easy. So if you're not a coder, if you want something that you can just plug in, something that you can just get going, then this is great because you can manage so many different types of files. If you are an organization, an institution, uh, a company that you're looking for something that you want to be able to implement, something that's secure to manage multiple files across different platforms, you can be able to do that here. And we're going to take a look at that in just a moment. And then, of course, it has its own, uh, you know, search engine where you can search files based on date, time, size, uh, audio, video. I mean, so many different options that you can be able to choose uh, to be able to download the files or search for those types of files. And you can choose based on like a specific date range. You can preview the files before you download it. You can make all these options available to uh, your users or to your team. Now, if you want to use this like an internal stuff for your company, this is also great because the general public will not have access to it. Just employees will have access to it. And one of my favorite features that I love, love, love is the Joomla ACL. So what this means is that it's account control level. In other words, you can give access to certain groups in your organization or your company, certain files. So if you have, let's say, your managers can get access to certain files, your supervisors can get access to certain files, and then the employees can get access to certain files, and you can set the permission for each one. So if you want to have files where the managers, uh, all the supervisors have, but you don't want the managers or the employees to get access to it, you can share those files just with the managers and vice versa. And then you have a front end manager. So it's not just the back end. Everything can be done on the front end. Now, when Joomla started, most of the extensions, you had to manage things on the back end. But over time, when Joomla 3.2 was released, then a lot of that changed. That was a major release because so many cool features were, you know, were introduced. And one of the things that happened is that you can do a lot of editing or uh, working the files on the front end. You can import existing files. So if you have files on your server, you can just go and just drag it directly on there. So you don't even have to log in, say you're using like a C panel. You don't have to go to your C panel to drag that over. You can just log into your site and then you can be able to move those things over. And you can also import uh, from Docman, J downloads, it Docman and Foca download. These are other extensions that you can be able to use to download there. And you have one click update and file versioning. So what exactly is file version? File version tells you when that file was accessed, when it was downloaded, and by who. So if you have a team that's working right on the back end, versioning allows for you to know who worked on this file, who is, have access to this file, who's controlling this file. So as the owner, you're able to see exactly what's going on with that particular file. 
and then you have five down statistics your statistics are really you know you need them because you need to see how the files are downloaded who is downloading them how often uh, and then you have the email notification based on files so if someone downloads the file they can get a new upload uh, the file addition the file remover if anything happens you will be notified based on the settings that you choose so if you want to be notified when a file has been removed when a file has been deleted or when it's been downloaded you can definitely do so and again you can make this a free uh file system or you can make it paid so now let's take a look at the actual demo and this is what the demo looks like so this is uh, a very clean interface and that's why i love the design of it and in terms of responsiveness on your mobile devices this is also responsive and it shows you know very nice and neat so you have your subcategories here this is all the files so if i were to click download i can download i can click you know to preview and if it's a, whatever type of file that it is it's going to allow me to preview this file so when you click on preview here it's going to show you what this particular file is and then you can be able to choose to download so you can have spreadsheet different documents you can have video you can have audio files business cards so many different types of file options uh, with it and then once you go here it gives you just different ways and different ways you can lay it out so this is the tree format so you just can be able to click on here click and they can choose to download either one of these or they can just choose to download all of them and then let's take a look now at a different theme so we'll have the table theme and it gives you this theme you can choose subcategories add another category you can choose to download all or just download one and then we'll have here another theme for the gdd theme uh folder and once again you can choose one or you can choose all and then finally let's see here they have uh, the file search and filtering now this is another powerful thing that allows you to search based on different criteria so they can search for specific date range so if you have this in your organization or your company and people want to find specific files that had been uploaded let's say two three months prior or even years back they can choose the specific date that they want to look for from the start from start uh and to the to date and then they can put tags now tags are easier for you to put in because it lets people find things based on those specific things so if someone wants to find let's say a video and you have a video tag well it's going to pop all the files that have video um, specifically in there and you can see how the system works here and it's an Ajax you know filtering system what an Ajax mean is that everything is, is smooth so once you type it in it's going to automatically pop up like this so you're not going to a different page everything stays within that same page which you know is helpful because other file system when you click the search it takes it to another page another page it just keep opening up multiple pages so this one keeps everything right in one position so you don't have to keep going and searching all over so this again this is a, a great system if you want to implement something for your organization for your company or even just for your own personal use maybe you just want to keep things you know simple and you just want a system that's very clean easy you can make this free or you can make it paid you can integrate it with google drive dropbox and OneDrive, which just even adds more to it so if you already have files on google dropbox and OneDrive, and you want to integrate it with your website you can do that you don't have to move your files over you can put a link directly on this and give people access to download it so that brings you know a different level of security because those files they're not stored on your server you just you know they're stored somewhere else and you're just getting uh giving people access to it so if you're looking to build a drop files or dropbox type of website i recommend this extension you go to joom united and then you go here joomla and then you go with to drop files and you can definitely try it out and then buy it let's take a look at the pricing here so the pricing you can see is it's affordable you know 34 dollars for six months for the first version and then you have the pro 39 and then you have the best bundle which goes up to 59 dollars for the year which is not bad you know which is not bad uh, i think this is something that if you want to keep your files safe you want to keep your file secure uh, this is something that I definitely recommend and you can be able to do something great with it 
If you would like to learn how to build websites with Joomla, definitely head over to MatthewTayman.com and check out my training. This is a one-on-one -on -one live training where I get to answer all your questions. Maybe you want to start a new company and you're not sure what type of website that you need. This is a great training for that. I get all the questions answered. You get to skip the learning curve. So make sure you head over there right now, sign up, and I look forward to working with you to build a high-quality, high-converting professional website.